It's your turn to tell me, Clarice. You don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? Doctor, we don't have any more time for any of this now. But we don't reckon time the same way, do we, Clarice? This is all the time you'll ever have. Later, now please listen to me. We've only got five... No, I will listen now. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. You were ten years old. You went to live with cousins on a sheep and horse ranch in Montana. And? And one morning, I just ran away. Not just, Clarice. What set you off? You started at what time? Early. Still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? I heard a strange noise. What was it? It was... screaming. Some kind of screaming, like a child's voice. What did you do? I went downstairs, outside. I crept up into the barn. I was, I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Lambs. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. And they were screaming. And you ran away? No. First I tried to free them. I I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They just stood there, confused. They wouldn't run. But you could and you did, didn't you? Yes. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. Where were you going, Clarice? I don't know. I didn't have any food, any water, and it was very cold. Very cold. I thought... I thought if I could save just one, but... He was so heavy. It was so heavy. I didn't get more than a few miles. And the sheriff's car picked me up. Rancher was so angry, he sent me to live at the Lutheran Orphanage in Postman. I never saw a ranch again. What became of your lamb, Glory? He killed him. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? You wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lambs? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Glory. Thank you. Tell me his name, Doctor. Dr. Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Okay. Let's go. It's your turn, Doctor. Out. Sorry, ma'am, I've got orders. I've put you on a plane. Come on now. Brave Clarice. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Tell me his name, Doctor. Clarice! Your case file. 